Today is the first official day of the 30th anniversary celebrations here at Disneyland Paris and we are going to check out everything to do with the 30th anniversary. So the celebrations, the decorations, the snacks, the new merchandise, the new show that's going on. So come along. Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my videos and welcome to the first official day of Disneyland Paris' 30th anniversary celebrations here in Disneyland Paris. It is a beautiful day, I can't wait to go inside the park and you can hear some amazing music in the background as well. It's uh, super califragilistic. Yeah, you gotta hear it anyway. Da, 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 da. Anyway, today's gonna be a really, really jam-packed day. I can't wait to go inside the park, check out everything that's going on. I'm just so happy to be here. Oh, the atmosphere today, just even outside of the entrance, is so incredible. I'm loving it. Today's Sunday, if you're wondering, Sunday the 6th of March 2022. Time-wise, as you can see on the clock over there, the Mickey clock, it's about 20 minutes past 11 a.m. There is a bit of a queue here to go inside. However, annual pass holders can use the annual pass entry which is just over there so I think I'm just gonna do that today I've just realized they have actually temporarily changed the uh, past annual entrance so we're actually entering through the main middle bit which is cool because of renovations going on with the Disneyland Hotel that bit is closed at the moment so it's a bit weird having this queue here and then we don't we don't need to do this we just go from here before I go in though I bumped into the lovely Dan yes hi Dan uh, is from the Netherlands yes I've been here since Friday so uh, well go watch the show for the 30th anniversary he's made me so much more excited yeah. about everything because <laughs> you've it's, seen it's amazing everything yeah. so there's going to be so much to come in the vlog keep watching and thank you dan thank you i am honestly so excited also as you can see we're just literally walking through this is as i said the annual pass uh, queue which is temporarily here now which is good i mean the main queue isn't too busy either to be fair but it's always nice to save a bit of time and we are in and let me give you a quick warning just uh, at the beginning of this video i might get quite overwhelmed throughout this vlog so be prepared for that I am so excited about this celebration I've been looking forward to it for so long and there's been so many new announcements happening at Disneyland Paris in the past few days as well so I've got so many new things to look forward to I mean look at me right now I'm not wearing a mask I'm in Disneyland Paris and no mask because a few days ago Disneyland Paris changed the mask rule so it's no longer mandatory it's only optional I'm still probably gonna wear it uh, in crowded areas but you don't have to wear it everywhere like oh it's amazing it's so weird I feel like I've gone back into 2019 and just look at that look at the entrance of Disneyland Park with the 30th anniversary logo just spinning I love it I, I love this so so much I'd seen photos of this online because they put the decorations up uh, about a week or so ago I want to say but seeing it in person is incredible we're gonna have a closer look at it in a second as well but uh, let me know in the comments what you think I think it's incredible so coming a bit closer as you can see we've got some of the main characters here starting with my boy Goofy over here then Minnie all in their 30th anniversary outfits the 30th logo which I really like you know that looks like Mickey as well as obviously being the number 30 and then on the other side let me just swiftly walk past we've got Mickey Mouse and uh, Donald Duck on the side as well and then right below the decorations here we've got some stars with the iridescent colors in between them just to give the whole vibe more of an oomph I feel like we're gonna see this color all throughout the park as we go along but yeah it looks amazing and of course they've even changed the colors of the plants uh, next to the entrance which is amazing I have to say one thing that I particularly like about the 30th anniversary celebrations logo design they've put um, at the railway station here is the fact that they haven't covered the beautiful beautiful stained glass windows because normally when they have special occasions on like Halloween Christmas etc et with the decorations that they put on here um, at the front of here they do tend to block the stained glass windows which are at the top but this time around they've somehow managed to make it work they've still managed to put everything there but yet keep the the glasses uh, there like the windows there which is awesome and you can see the train just going through now and hopefully you can see what I mean as well over there so you can see the beautiful stained glass windows on top of all the characters so the characters aren't actually blocking the windows whereas normally when they do these things they kind of have bigger decorations that blocks out the actual windows as well but I feel like this this station is so beautiful in itself um, that it's nice to keep some of its original design still even when there's anniversaries going on anyway <laughs> 
let's keep walking and oh my god what a beautiful sight we've got the gazebo which has been uh, completely vamped up for the 30th anniversary you've got the 30th logo right at the top and i like that it spins as well it's very much like a motion theme i feel like with the 30th everything's moving and then of course you've got the castle in the background it's a beautiful day as well 6th of march so it's not like necessarily very hot or anything it's still quite cold you can see people are in their jackets but it's beautiful and sunny and that's what matters there is so much to do and see specifically for the 30th anniversary here at disneyland paris so if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you do because i'll be releasing so many more videos in the future as well as this one that you're watching right now and look we've just spotted our first 30th anniversary merch which is these uh, mini balloons here she's wearing the 30th anniversary iridescent bow you can see the 30 logo on her right ear as well kind of but that's cool as we keep going to the right though lord have legit mercy look at the queues just to get into the shop over here this is the main shop that has all the new 30th anniversary merchandise and i mean this is a bit mad i'm not gonna lie um, but of course we are gonna go and have a look at all the merch as well it might be in a separate video but there's also a little queue here for a character i want to say it might be goofy i'm not quite sure though but we're gonna have to wait and see who comes out but compared to this queue to go into the shop the queue to meet some character here is uh, a lot shorter it's Max. I can see a picture of Max over there, so probably it will be Max, which is fine. Look, Goofy's my bae. I don't really care that much about Max, but at the end of the day, Goofy is Max's dad. He raised Max, so uh, because of that, Max has a special place in my heart as well. And one cool thing that's recently changed in Disneyland Paris is that character meets are back in their traditional way. So you might be able to see Max over there. He's meeting uh, guests in a very normal way. You can give him hugs if you want to. You can give him a high five. And I am, I just can't even, it blows my mind. I cannot wait. So meeting Max was very, very cool. It was so cute, very, very cute. Um, I got a couple of selfies with him as well, so you'll be able to see him. Um, I can't wait to meet more characters. If you want to see a full character meet video, that will be coming up very soon. I'm so excited to film it. I haven't done it yet, but I'll be meeting loads of characters hopefully in the next few days. But we are now walking down Main Street USA because the show, the special 30th anniversary show, is starting in about half an hour. And uh, I've heard such great things about it, even now when I met him earlier. Um, he said it's amazing, so I can't wait. Hello! Do you want to say hi? There you go. We are now trying to find a position for the show. Look at the castle, by the way. It's quite busy, um, but we're hoping to find a spot. I'm probably going to watch it again later on as well. We're just waiting for the show, the parade. I don't even really know what it is. I'm glad, though, because I don't want to be spoiled. I'm excited for it to be a surprise. I'm here with the lovely Innes. Hello. And Melly. Hi, friend. You probably would have seen him before in some yeah, vlog. Probably. <laughs> um, you've both seen the show before, and you said yes, it's really good. Yeah, it is really good. There is a strong energy that comes out of it. I am so excited. Dear friends, let's all smile bigger, open our hearts, and believe in our dreams.
my god, I have so many words about this. I have been smiling for the past 25 minutes. This is amazing. And look at the atmosphere. Everyone is so happy. There's the song for the parade is so dancey. It's just incredible. And there were so many characters. I mean, Nick and Judy. It's a little bit quieter now and I've calmed down a little bit. I'm definitely going to be watching that show, parade, mix of both things, like the incredible thing that I just watched definitely a few more times throughout my stay here. But amazing, amazing. Disneyland Paris, well done. What an amazing way to celebrate. All the characters, I've just really liked the music. I feel like the music is really what makes it because it's so nice and upbeat and the way they've like mixed everything as well, different songs from different movies as I was trying to say earlier, is incredible. You hear a bit of You've Got a Friend in Me, you hear a bit of um, Oh, 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 Oh from Zootropolis or Zootopia. There's just a lot going on and the actual music as well, uh, Amon Kisilumin, is so good. I and there's so much going on as well. I like there's so many things going on around you, so many different characters, so many just exciting moments. So there's plenty of opportunities to watch uh, the kind of show over and over and kind of have a different experience depending on where you are. But I loved it and it was amazing as well to see everyone smiles. So I think I think that's why it was overwhelming because not only was I you know experiencing a new show but kind of seeing the atmosphere everywhere and being able to see so many people with their smiles because obviously you no longer need to wear a mask was pretty awesome. <laughs> Look how beautiful the Sleeping Beauty castle looks by the way in the sun. I always have to comment on the castle every single time I see it because honestly every single time I come to Disneyland Paris I do take you know a couple of minutes just to appreciate the castle. It looks stunning. So one new thing in Disneyland Park that has been installed for the 30th anniversary celebrations is something called the Garden of Wonder and basically what it is is that they've got 30 different characters from the Disney films around the park and let me just show you because they look really cool and we are going to go and have a look at all of them if we can in this video. And there you go so here we've got Snow White and you can see by her the colors of her dress looks really cool and I love that they're again in motion I feel like this is very much the theme as well as obviously the iridescent stuff kind of motion is also the theme of the anniversary and then there's a few more over there so let's go and have a closer look oh okay this is interesting um, obviously that's Rapunzel over there um, I can't tell what that is oh we've got Thumper Thumper's cute too is that Thumper what is that what is the person with uh, Rapunzel I don't know why I'm so confused by that anyway let me know in the comments below we've got Cinderella going on here I actually really like how they've done them it's purposefully not meant to be like fully the characters it's meant to be more like art I was talking to Mendy earlier as well and he was saying the same thing um, that's kind of why there's no face you don't see any face or anything I think it looks uh, really cool actually something unique that we haven't seen in other Disney parks before we are going to continue with our quest to see some more uh, statues for the 30th anniversary but before we do that some of my lovely viewers wanted to say hi in the vlog hi! <laughs> okay, well here we've got Merida and I like her hair, that looks really really cool and then over there I think that might be Tiana in the background and there's somebody behind uh, Merida as well, let's have a closer look. Who is that? She's not moving. Oh, that must be Belle because I can, I can see a rose over there. Her hair's not dark enough to be Belle but that must be Belle. Let me know again in the comments because some of these I'm struggling to figure out who they are but that's kind of what it's like with art you know art isn't meant to be exactly like the characters it's meant to be like a symbol of them but so far I'm loving what I'm seeing looks like there's a villain section over here we've got Maleficent turning round and then if we keep moving I feel like I can see <laughs> Lord have mercy Ursula and she always reminds me of Molly from All Ears All Ears.net if you don't watch her vlogs you should they're amazing uh, I know that she's not a fan of Ursula at all though and then of course we've got Jafar and I like what they've done with Jafar actually let me just do a little close-up look at his face he's quite different to the rest of them quite terrifying the genie is here saying hi to us over here and then right next to him we've got oh this is another cute one it's the um, uh, fairies from Sleeping Beauty so is it Fauna, Merryweather and oh, I can't remember the, the name of the rest the other one the last one but it looks quite pretty I like this one and then over here we've got Tinkerbell she's just on top of this little blue flower thing going round with her lovely wings 
very cute. Shout out to my friend Rebecca, by the way. She loves Tinkerbell. She loves Peter Pan. Anyway, this next section here has some of the animal characters. We've got Pumbaa and Timon kind of spinning around. And then, ooh, the snake from, I want to say, Jungle Book. Car, I believe, might be his name. And then, oh, look at that. That's Kevin. That is hilarious. Here we've got some more animals. They all seem to be sidekicks. Of course, we've got Miko over here, which I'm really happy about because I feel like Pocahontas, as a film, as a Disney film, doesn't get too much representation in Disneyland Paris. So it's cool to have Miko here. Then we've got Dumper, which uh, that's, that's a fun one actually, because it's like it's almost like he's jumping trying to catch the carrot. And then that last one over there. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that face. Let me just wait for it. That's Pascal and I love it. That might be one of my favorite ones actually. Do you know what? I think the earlier statue that we saw that I thought might be Rapunzel might actually be Aurora because she was there with some rabbits and I thought that was Thumper and I was a bit confused by everything. It might be Aurora. I don't know. Again, I'm really curious to see what you guys think in the comments down below. Look at Main Street USA though. It's just, I, I still am not over seeing people without their masks on, I, I don't know, it's a simple thing but it really is just special being able to see people's smiles and walk without, you know, covering your face etc. I mean don't get me wrong, I will wear a mask and I will continue to wear a mask when I feel like it's needed but being here, and I, I actually was a bit nervous about it when it was announced, I, I, th I thought I was going to think about it more in like a bad way and be like scared, like oh no, you know, no one's wearing masks etc. But actually being here. <laughs> I feel like I've just forgotten about it all. I mean the magic and it's it's amazing. Anyway, more of these gardens of wonder. Here we've got Dumbo. He's gonna turn around in a bit. He's cute. And then we've got Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Bear and Tigger over there. Looks like Tigger's holding a kite with loads of stars on it. Then the kite is blue which is always fun. And then back then that's another fun one actually. The Cheshire Cat. I love how they've done him. He looks brilliant. And oh my god, finally some Baymax slash Big Hero 6 representation in Disneyland Paris. Look at this. That also might be one of my favorites. I've already got quite a few favorites here. And then we've got uh, Sisu over there from Raya and the Last Dragon. I've only watched that film once, so I don't really know too much about it. But I did I did enjoy it when I did watch it. I'm glad that she's uh, there as well. She's definitely a fun character in the movie. And look at this one over here. We've got Mushu. And I love that one actually. I just There's so many great characters here that I didn't even expect to be able to see here in Disneyland Paris as these awesome artwork pieces and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, two of my favorites so we're gonna get to her in a bit but here we've got Moana which is very cool I feel like it's a really nice design again it's not meant to be the full character of Moana necessarily it's just a representation of Moana's film and then here Lord have mercy my favorite princess Ariel and uh, her spell was actually really nice I like it and loads of fish going past her and then this Nemo over there I love how they've themed everything so that all the kind of characters and films that go together in, in the way that uh, in the worlds that they were built or filmed are next to each other I think that's really cool and then when we get closer towards Discovery Land of course we hear we have Stitch over here um, that's a fun one Stitch is very well loved in this land Paris <laughs> look at him very cute over here we've got Eve from Wally -E, which is quite a fun one as well and nice to have by the entrance of Discovery Land and then right next to that one we've got the green aliens from Toy Story and if you look closely it's really fun how they move around and their little spaceships it's it's cute this is probably another one of my favorites anyway I am walking down Main Street USA again back towards the entrance because I want to have a look at some of the shops I'm going to see if um, the queue times to go into the shops which is just ridiculous have gone down a little bit so we can have a quick look at some of the merchandise it's a busy day in the park I mean it's a Sunday it's the first official day of the anniversary so of course there's gonna be loads of people here I just had a look at the information board as well and the queue time for Snow White the ride in Pansyland 45 minutes you know that means a busy day it's about 1 20 p.m. at the moment and you can see this is the queue for Casey's corner over here it's not too bad actually the queue for Casey's I expected it to be a bit longer but they do do mobile ordering actually at Casey's which is something I haven't tried yet but I will do in a future video if you would like me to so maybe that's why the queue uh, isn't too long Disneyland Paris has also released some new snacks today for the 30th anniversary and you can see some people queuing to get them over here uh, we're definitely gonna try one or two of them as well today but there'll be a separate vlog coming with uh, more snacks for sure so again make sure you subscribe I do love the logos everywhere as well 
by the lampposts here. Very cute to see the 30th uh, logo everywhere. Well, we've got Emporium here, and I don't think Emporium has a long queue, but even just from the outside, I could already spot some of the 30th anniversary display windows, and they look really nice. So let's have a closer look. We've got, uh, it's a small world here. I love the design of this, like just the colors, uh, the blues, the purples, the violets, look really, really nice. You've got Goofy, my bay over here as well. That's cute. Oh, look at Minnie's face. She looks adorable and Mickey. Oh my God, look at him. It's just all so inviting, very cool. And then of course we've got Donald as well. Donald, always number one. I hope you can kind of see him with the glare, but yeah, he's, he's cool. And then here we've got Chip and Dale. Look at Chip, looking very, very handsome. The beautiful 30th logo here again. And then Dale is over there. Very cool. And here is another one of the castle. Again, I'm so sorry if you can't see it very well because of the glare through the windows, but it looks amazing. It's uh, it's really nice. I also just want to say how nice it is to see cast members without their face masks on as well. It's just nice to be able to see random people and smile at them and have that little moment. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, even when you had to wear your masks, I was still able to have those moments just with your eyes. You can still smile with your eyes, of course but it just feels different. It does feel different. I'm going to try and stop mentioning it constantly, but it's something I'm still trying to get used to. Because for the past two years, you know, Disneyland Paris has been very, very strict. You've had to wear masks everywhere, apart from like, in the last few months, they kind of relaxed a little bit, so you could take your mask off for character me, so you, if you were taking a quick photo, you could take it off. But apart from that, you had to wear it everywhere, and suddenly now it's no masks. And characters as well, you can actually get close to most of them. I don't think you can get close to face characters yet, which makes sense. With them, it's still distance. And I think character meets that are in doors they're also still distance as far as I'm aware but the outdoor character means you can literally like get close to them hug them so maybe we should meet another character as well before we go and meet characters though I've just seen that the queue for New Century Notions Flora's Boutique over here has definitely gone down by quite a lot I mean you saw it in the vlog earlier in the vlog how long it was it went like it literally I think went even down Discovery Arcade at some point but now I feel like it's a bit more manageable so maybe this is a time because people are eating now their lunches and stuff might be a good time to go and have a look inside um never mind the queue is still incredibly long and still does indeed lord have mercy we've just gone into discovery arcade now and the queue is still going so we are not going to be going into flora's boutique today probably hello how are you um yeah i mean well done to these people who've been waiting for a while i presume the other queue that i saw earlier is if you have a priority card i mean even that queue was quite long but this is a regular queue and uh yeah we, we are not doing it stay tuned though because i am here in Islam paris for the next few days so hopefully at one point i will get a chance to go and have a look at all the merchandise and of course i'll vlog it in fact i'll make a whole video dedicated to all the new merch here so watch out for that i actually cannot get over how long this queue is it's still going i feel like it's the whole length of the arcade and maybe even longer but i can show you some of the merchandise here that they've got uh, on the display window here. so these are some of the aribas i think that's how you pronounce it a 30th anniversary merch and they do look cute uh, you can get these glasses with the logos and the different characters for 17 euros here you can get some uh, little mugs and then i believe that might be a special key that one in the middle over there you can get a little jar there's a lot of pretty things here actually and they're all new it literally tells you here new and hopefully you can have a look at some of the prices here as well i think my favorite thing is probably that little plaque over there in the middle which has basically all the main characters uh, the Fab Five and the 30th anniversary logo and you can just kind of have it on a stand that's cute it's a nice kind of memorabilia that you can probably get from this land Paris I would get that if I were to buy one of these things I also do like the key that the key looks cool with the 30th uh, as the top of it really nice in case you're wondering I'm just about to leave Discovery Arcade and the queue is still going it's uh, still going <laughs> I mean the queue is literally all on Main Street USA I mean I don't even know how long this is gonna take you know, I guess it depends on how long people spend in the shop as well like if they want to keep browsing it might take longer I don't know but this is it this is the end of the queue let me know in the comments down below, would you do something like this? I feel like um, there's a rumour that I think today is the day that they've uh, they've released the official 30th anniversary lounge fly bag. And I know people love lounge fly bags, I mean, so do I. I have quite a few myself. Big fan of lounge fly. But I wouldn't, you know, queue that long for a lounge fly bag. The bag does look pretty though. And if I can get into a shop and the bags are still available, I will get it. Because I love it. Speaking of lounge fly, there's two people in front of me and they both have uh, lounge flies on. And I really enjoy both of them actually. That's a 
one is particularly cool. And here's another one. This is uh, from the Mickey Memories uh, lounge -like collection, I want to say, or maybe the mini attraction ones. That's the one from last year. Anyway, we are now in a queue to maybe try a snack from the third year. So one new thing that's arrived uh, at the bake shop here is a vegan cookie, cookie vegan over here, which is good. Definitely, again, an improvement. 350 euros. We've also got that Madeleine over there that's come out for the 30th anniversary. 450. We've got a couple of muffins as well, which just kind of are the same muffins as before, with just uh, different sparkles or decorations on top of them. And then one of the main things that has uh, been released is a Mickey beignet. So they've been having beignets here at Disneyland Paris for a long time, and they taste really nice, but never a cute Mickey one. So I'm really looking forward to trying that, and that's the one I'm going to get today. Well, I've got my beignet. You can get two different kinds of beignets. They look the same from the outside, but obviously inside is a little bit different. I went for the chocolate one. The other option is an apricot one. Um, but I, I prefer chocolate, I'm a chocolate lover, so I decided to go for that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out. It looks really cute. I mean, just from the outside, it's a very, very cute snack. Also, as you can see, I've placed myself on this lovely bench by the castle. This is the beignet. Oh, it smells really nice too. It's, it's also quite big. Like, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to eat all of this, to be honest. Because I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, don't get me wrong. When I'm in Disneyland Paris, I'm still going to try, you know, different snacks and probably eat unhealthy. But I am trying to be a little bit better, at least. So I might try and uh, save some of this for later on. But we're going to try it. So far in the ears, there's no chocolate whatsoever. It's just a beignet. I mean, it's still nice. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like the majority of the chocolate is going to be um, in Mickey's face. Not that I'm complaining. It just means I'm going to have to keep going through the ear uh, until I get to the chocolate. I know what you're all going to say. You're going to be like, Sam, why don't you just take a bite from the face? But it just feels wrong to eat Mickey's face first. For some reason, I feel like I have to eat at least one of his ears and go from top to bottom. There you go. We've got some chocolate now, and it's really, really nice. Well, that Mickey shaped beignet was really nice. Nice. Definitely too big though, but it's shareable, so that's something good. Um, and they've got the new packaging as well, which I'm obviously keeping because I've got the rest of my beignet in it. But it's the 30th logo as well. That was also my first time eating in Disneyland Paris since the, the removal of the mask policy. And honestly, it felt so weird, kind of standing up from my from the bench that I was sat at after I, as you know, finished eating and not having to put a mask back on. It's like it's become such a habit for me to put my mask back on straight away. And I was like, I don't even have a mask with me. I mean, I do. I do have masks in my backpack, but it's not like I was carrying one in my hand or anything. It's so cool to see Victoria's uh, at the top of Main Street back open as well for the 30th anniversary. There is a bit of a queue to go inside, so I'm not going to be going in it today, but they do have some special anniversary snacks at Victoria's as well, which I'm going to be checking out in a separate video. Also, these very cute ice creams have been released as well at the Gibson Girl. The Donald one is my fave, four euros. Obviously, I haven't tried them yet, but just by the looks of them, that one's the one that looks the best to me. It looks really cute. But but for now, I think I'm going to make my way to the other park, well, this is Studios Park, because apparently you can meet Minnie there in her new Stella McCartney outfit, which is trousers and it's like a really nice shade of blue as well. Oh, look at the bubbles! So yeah, I really want to go and do that, the gazebo. The gazebo just looks so, so nice. Also, I did just quickly go into um, the Boardwalk Candy Palace because from that shop you're able to see Summer Flora's Boutique. Obviously you can't go to Flora's Boutique, they actually like closed it off to make sure that no one can enter it from there because there's so many people waiting outside, it just wouldn't be fair otherwise. But I had a quick glimpse at some of the merchandise, so here's a glimpse of it for you. Hello! <laughs> Honestly, big shout out to the cast members because I feel like it must be difficult trying to organize the crowds who all want the same merchandise, etc. And at the moment, you can only get the 30th anniversary merchandise in that shop at Flora's Boutique. But it's a very good system in the way that you obviously have to queue to go in there, which means that not everyone can just go in there at the same time and buy everything for them to then sell out, if that makes sense. As far as I'm aware, things should hopefully be all in stock for the majority of the anniversary celebration. So I, I'm not worried personally. But I know that a lot of collectors and people who unfortunately some people just want to, you know, buy them and then resell them do worry about these things. I feel like don't do that and don't buy them from eBay because there will be more stock. That's, that's the vibe that I'm getting from cast members and other people that I've spoken to. Anyway, I am now heading towards Walt Disney Studios Park, which overall, just from the outside of it, feels a little bit calmer than the other park. I feel like most people are going to spend today in the main park because obviously it's the official uh, start of the anniversary celebrations and there's not going to be too many new new anniversary stuff in this park apart from Mini. But Mini for me is special enough to make the trip to Walt Disney Studios Park worth it. Hopefully she won't have a long wait 
to meet her I feel like it's probably gonna be quite busy it's been busy it's been a busy day today also whilst we're at it I do want to give a shout out to all of you any of you that I've met today I've met quite a lot of you today of course there's so many Disney fans here in the park today so that means I've seen so many of you and I just want to say thank you you know it's nice to be able to see you and actually see you smile as well you know maskless it's been amazing and we're in and we've got Mickey's beautiful face welcoming us through Studio One I love it it's really really cute and then Goofy of course is meeting here as well again no longer socially distanced you can give him a hug you can give him a high five oh I'm gonna have to meet him at some point on this trip so again make sure you subscribe to see the video once it's released of me meeting loads of characters after two years and look at that and hopefully giving some of them some hugs as well wow even walking the studios is pretty busy I mean it makes sense again Sunday is the weekend start the anniversary celebrations but I mean look at this area normally this area is so so quiet there's not a lot going on so there's no point for people to be here but I feel like now because there's so many people in the parks anyway a lot of people just come here to have more space if that makes sense we have a new little mini cavalcade going on at Walt Disney Studios Park just now exciting <laughs> I did also want to say how awesome it is that we finally got Mickey Premium Bars here in Disneyland Paris and I can't even believe it. If you haven't checked out my video from I want to say about a month ago where I posted five things that annoy me about Disneyland Paris, one of those things was the fact that they just don't sell Mickey Premium Bars here. They sell Magnums but no Premium Bars. I mean Magnums, you can get them anywhere. I can get them back in London but Premium Bars have finally made an appearance. Today is actually the first day that they've been released and I'm just so happy. I'm definitely going to try them. Like I said, it's going to be a separate video of me trying out loads of snacks from the 30th anniversary celebration so make sure you are subscribe for that coming up but I'm just happy I'm happy that they're here and it looks like you can get them in almost all the snacks uh, places so this one here in Studios Park has them they also have this new um, savory waffle that I'm gonna be trying later on but there you go Mickey ice cream bar so so cool anyway this is the theater in which Minnie Mouse meets at the moment fashionista mini so the McCartney mini um, and her set is from uh, 1 10 until 2 40 and then 4 35 until 6 35 uh, it's kind of like the in-between time at the moment which is a bit awkward I think it's about 2 30 I want to say and I feel like by the looks of things they've already probably closed the queue for that first set but fear not I'm gonna make sure I'm here for her next set starting at 4 30 and with the magic of editing it's gonna take like a few seconds for you so see you in a bit Minnie is a popular gal there's about a 45 minute wait for her already and her next set isn't until 4 35 so in uh, just over an hour the people are keen just like myself it's going to be about 3 30 um, so it's gonna be an hour and 45 minutes until we get to meet her but that's okay I'm looking forward to it two hours later I've been in this queue for two hours over two hours it's currently about 5 35 I joined the queue at like 25 minutes past three two hours and uh, still waiting but getting closer and closer every minute to finally meeting Minnie I hope it's gonna be worth it. I mean Minnie in this new outfit of her she's only gonna be around in the Sun Paris and Walton Studios for just the month of March so limited edition it, it will be worth it I mean I've not seen Minnie in a while so it'll be good but two hours that's a long time to wait for a character we are finally inside which is exciting in itself obviously this setup is normally for the Marvel characters that have been here for the past year and a bit but today it's gonna be Minnie Mouse and I can't wait to see her look and there she is oh my god she looks amazing okay I am easily pleased and despite having waited in the call for the past two hours I am already happy in fact I'm a little bit overwhelmed I mean so far I've only met Max and that was awesome but Minnie and you can literally get close to her and potentially hug her if you want to what I do really enjoy the setup by the way so over there as you can see it says designed by Stella McCartney and then they've got like this fashion music going on as well 
Minnie's on stage over there and as I mentioned earlier you can actually go up to her properly and then over here there's just little um, like text that keeps going past basically about Minnie being this fashion icon Minnie will wear it from March 6th to March 31st there you go limited time um, only for the month of basically International Women's uh, Month is March and that's when the International Women's Day falls as well and that's why uh, she's wearing this outfit and it's the first time ever that Minnie is in trousers or like pantsuits or whatever you want to call it which is amazing apparently it's a big deal I mean to me I'm just like I'm glad to see her in any cool costume some people have been outraged by it saying that Minnie should always be wearing a dress or a skirt I find that ridiculous and I think that's why um, this is kind of to celebrate Women's Day and Women's Month because women can wear whatever they want they don't have to just wear dresses just because they're women. Hi, Minnie! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Always gotta do the poses. <laughs> See you in a bit. Chers amis, veuillez accueillir notre fashionista, Minnie! Oh, she's back! She's back! Look at her strutting us! <laughs> she looks amazing! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Amazing! Hi Minnie, how are you? Have you been with Doug? Nice to see you after so long. You look amazing. I love your outfit. We kind of have similar vibes, yeah. I love the bow, you look so stylish. Love your little fashion thing. It was so nice. It's so happy to see you, Minnie. And what an amazing thing. It's <laughs> fashion. Oh, look at her. Beautiful fashionista. <laughs> Thank you. Do we get some photos? Um, ready? One more. Oh, do you like this? A little heart. And again. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minnie. Nice to see you. Bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Merci. 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 No, so thank you because I want to buy one. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for no thank you worries. so much. You've made Have a lovely day. day. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Well, I feel like that was definitely worth the wait. Two and a half hours. It's currently five minutes past six. We joined the queue at twenty-five minutes past three. Past three. I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long. But Minnie was adorable. Her outfit was cute. And like I said, she's only in this outfit doing meet and greets here in Disneyland Paris until the last day of March. So this isn't just a thirtieth anniversary thing. Obviously, it's been released because of the thirtieth anniversary, but it's only specific to March. Well, I am now on my way out of what the studios park because I'm going to the other park to get some food. I haven't really eaten uh, a lot today. Day. and this uh, park unfortunately isn't the best for quick service there's only one quick service at the moment which is the one here behind me and it's probably my least favorite quick service in the whole of Disneyland Paris so we're gonna have to try and find something in the Disneyland park and obviously illumination starts in a couple of hours as well which I'm so excited about I'm actually a little bit worried because illumination is not one of my favorite nighttime shows but I haven't seen any Disney fireworks shows in over two years like I've not seen fireworks shows at Disney parks in Disneyland Paris in two years so I feel like it's gonna be special and extra magical just being able to see that again just anyway and then there's gonna be like obviously some extra 30th anniversary stuff as well I believe both uh, before and after the show so of course keep watching for that that will be coming after I get some food because at the moment I just need something hot like warm some warm food whatever it is warm savory food as well because I feel like I've eaten a lot of sweets today well I'm back in the main park now back in at Disneyland Paris Park and the time is about 20 minutes past six so the sun's kind of slowly but surely setting and I can already see the difference in the entrance I still love the fact that that just spins like it's just amazing I love what they've done here I don't think I've ever seen anything like this done before in Disneyland Paris the way they've decorated their entrances before but yeah you can see some of the lights peeking through now because it's getting darker and darker I can't wait to come back here and see what this looks like when it gets properly dark I mean look at it look at her the 30 logo sign anyway um, it's cold it's definitely cold it's been pretty nice weather uh, throughout the day but obviously now that it's getting colder the sun's setting I'm feeling it a bit this is why this is my look at the moment I've got a hat in my bag as well actually I might put my hood up for now just to cover my ears a bit oh the castle the castle so beautiful I mean look at this view 
It is stunning. This is one of my favorite times in uh, any Disney park, really, and I always say it, you know, the kind of golden hour when it's just starting to get dark. But look at the colors on top of the gazebo as well. I love how they just kind of change uh, tones a little bit. It's really beautiful. It really, really is. I can't, I'm so glad. These decorations are meant to be staying for a while, so I'm so glad <laughs> that I'll get a chance to hopefully see them uh, for a few more times at least. And again, even the plants here as well, and then the castle, of course. I mean, there's so many beautiful things. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm also very, very hungry. So we should go and eat something soon. But also, before I do that, I just wanted to give a big shout out to one of my lovely subscribers, Hudson, that I just met. And he wanted to say hello as well. Hi. This is the lovely Hudson here. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like the queue for the 30th anniversary shop, which is Flora's Boutique, is still extremely long, though. I can't obviously see how far it goes down this Discovery Arcade over there and that's the main queue the one on the left hand side is priority queue priority access I want to say um, but yeah it's still long <laughs> it's still long I feel like it'll be long all day long uh, so tomorrow might be a better time to visit like I said make sure you have not only subscribed but also press the bell button so you are notified the next time I post a video about all the merchandise from the 30th anniversary but look at this look at the castle walking down Main Street USA and you're seeing people and I know I've mentioned it probably so many times in this vlog we're just seeing everyone smiles <laughs> I nearly teared up just there <laughs> it's, it's just been such a beautiful day and obviously the day hasn't ended yet but I just I feel so so lucky I can't even explain to you I feel so grateful to be here right now to have the chance to be here to be well enough to be here I, I don't know <laughs> I feel like I need a moment maybe I'm just going delirious but <sighs> Wow. So restaurant wise, a lot of them have already closed, but we do have Fonte de Oro, my favorite quick service, still open, as well as a few on Main Street. So Casey's Corner is still open, and then Discovery Land should still have, um, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? How Kai Cafe Hyperion open, which is, I believe, where we're going to head to. I know you might be thinking, Sam, you love Fonte de Oro, and that's still open for another hour, so why don't you just go there? Uh, because Cafe Hyperion, normally for seasonal uh, situations, events, celebrations, does tend to have like a unique menu now I don't think it's gonna be anything that special so don't hold your breath but um, it's meant to be like a burger and like a special 30th anniversary dessert which does look quite good so I thought I might as well since this is the 30th anniversary celebrations official first day I feel like it just makes sense to go there because Punta de Oro I've eaten there many times and I love it but why not try something that's at least a little bit new you know so there you go this is uh, the exterior of Cafe Hyperion and this is the new menu new menu like I said the burger just looks to be a regular burger um, I mean they're generally speaking quite good burgers to be fair they do decent ones here but this is uh, what I'm interested in the dessert with the 30th logo in the shape of Mickey it looks really cute and then I'm probably gonna get a bottle of water actually and that looks nice as well you know why not uh, and this is all 20 euros I believe you can also get the dessert separately if you wish to but because I'm hungry I want the burger too um, and it comes with fries or salad and yeah this is gonna be our meal the problem is though as with everything today there is quite a long queue to get inside but I feel like it's probably hopefully not going to be longer than 25-30 uh, minutes we'll see it is worth noting that Cafe Hyperion in Discoveryland is generally quite a busy place to eat anyway just because of how big it is and also it's very well located in Discoveryland so a lot of people are just drawn to it because of the exterior of it but especially at events like you know today on events like today on days like today it's going to be even more busy okay so far it's been about maybe seven eight minutes and uh, I'm already inside there's still a bit of a queue to go but but hopefully it shouldn't be too long. There you go. This should be our messy both of us here. <laughs> messy. <laughs> Alright, well I found a table. It is definitely pretty busy in here. Last time I was here was back in January um, and it was dead. There was so many free tables. They even closed half of it off because of how quiet it was. If you want to check out that video, um, watch it down below. I'll leave the link down below. It's basically a full tour of Discovery Land, including this restaurant. But yeah, pretty busy, but it only took about 20, 25 minutes to actually order the food and get it. So I'm pleasantly impressed with how quick it was considering the crowds. And we've got some fries. This is just a regular fries. Um, uh, the burger, which I'm intrigued about. It's got the 30th logo on the packaging, so that's cute. And then the main event, of course, is a dessert, which as I mentioned, you can just get this on its own if you want to. I believe it's five euros if you just want to get this without the meal plan. And then I went for a bottle of water. 
and uh, it's just a normal Vitel but as you can see it does have the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary logo on it and uh, yeah I mean this place it's not one of my favorites but it's, it's a good atmosphere and there's a uh, basically the Mickey shorts playing constantly as well so you're never bored kids would love this place so let's start with the burger of course oh oh it's bigger than I thought it would be this is interesting so this is what the burger looks like this is what the bun looks like I like it it's interesting there's a lot of meat in there as well I feel like it might be yeah a double double beef burger with some tomatoes I want to say there's some onions in there loads of lettuce as well there you go you can see exactly what's on the burger it does look pretty good I feel like it's gonna be quite messy though I've already had a few things <laughs> fall out of the burger so let's take a bite quickly it's a good burger I can't say anything bad about it it tastes good um, there's a lot of meat it's juicy um, the sauce that they've used is really nice the bun is good I like it mm. the onions give it a really nice taste as well I feel like they might be a little bit caramelized it's really good this is probably actually one of the best burgers I've had quick service wise in Disneyland Paris well done Disneyland well I was perfectly surprised with that burger I feel like I didn't have high hopes for it and don't get me wrong it's not like phenomenal it's not the best burger in the world but in terms of quick service burgers here in Disneyland Paris that was definitely one of the best I really enjoyed it anyway um, now it's time for the dessert which is this little cute Mickey shaped um, I think it's a chocolate mousse or something with layers um, so yeah I'm looking forward to trying that now it does look really really pretty to be fair and I think you can get the 30th anniversary logo uh, on it either in blue or pink I've seen both colors in photos so far but I'm glad mine just ended up by chance being blue because as you know that is my absolute favorite color I love blue so I've just taken a bite of um, Mickey's ear and I am loving this dessert so far so much that I want to keep eating like I don't even want to talk to you <laughs> no offense but like wow this is really good especially if you love your chocolates obviously it's layered so different kinds of chocolates milk chocolate white chocolate and then some chocolate powder on the top as well yeah I'm pleased with this right that is it we are out of cafe Hyperion that was actually a really nice meal I enjoyed it and for 20 euros not too bad and it's dark is dark discovery land in the dark is one of my favorite lands in the dark but illumination is a nighttime uh, show nighttime fireworks show here in design Paris should be starting in about 20 25 minutes and i am guessing it's going to be very very busy on main street usa at the moment everyone's probably going to be there ready for the fireworks but hopefully we might actually get a decent spot i mean i'm not too bothered about the actual illumination show more so just about being here you know seeing the fireworks and experiencing the vibe of a nighttime show again is like paris so here you go you can see all the crowds are slowly but surely making their way towards main street usa and the castle's looking beautiful oh ooh. Chers amis, nous vous donnons rendez-vous dans 10 minutes pour découvrir Disney de Hyde. 10 minutes. It should be starting in 10 minutes, I believe, if there would have been a pre-show, pre-illumination show. I may have missed it, I'm not quite sure, but I'm definitely looking forward to the show itself and also what they're going to be doing afterwards. I've heard really, really cool things, but I mean, look at the crowds on Main Street USA. Lord have all the mercy. Ah, oh, this is packed. This is packed and I've not seen Disneyland Paris like this in a long, long time. So, the castle's just there. Um, I could just watch it from here. I could try and get a space kind of in the clouds to be more centrally located, but I'm not going to do that. Um, as much as it's been nice to be maskless in Disneyland Paris, I don't feel comfortable going into that crowd, to be honest. So, there's a bit of a walkway here that needs to constantly be there, and I think, just by stitch over here, I'm going to stand here because this pathway needs to continuously be a thing. Um, so hopefully this view will be okay and I'll be able to not be fully into the crowd and feel a little bit uh, more comfortable. Obviously I understand this isn't going to be the best view, but rest assured in my future vlogs you will hopefully be able to see this from a more centrally located view. I'm just excited to be seeing the nighttime show, a nighttime show, just some fireworks in a Disney park again after so, so long. Okay, well, <laughs> they've just made an announcement saying that Disney D-Light, which is the pre-show to Illumination, should be starting very, very soon. So I'm really excited now because I thought I might have missed it for some reason. But no, that's just going to about to start very, very soon. <laughs> There's something so magical shining from all the projects we've ever seen before.
experience on nighttime spectacular Disney illuminations presented by well, that D light show was really cool, really, really cool. First time they've used any kind of technology like this with drones and, and lasers like that um, in a Disney park. So that was awesome. I liked the logo at the end. The music they used was cute, kind of um, in theme with the 30th anniversary. I'm more than you mean. I enjoyed that. It was a nice little free show. Within each of us is a dream just waiting to be awakened. I guess one pre-show which was the Disney D-Light and then of course Illuminations which was my first time seeing it after about two or three years and then this little post-show which was again this awesome song that I love Amour qui si lumine for the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris it's such a fun song it's a great way to end the evening as well because it's a very party vibe and it was beautiful the drone work by the castle is just amazing it's so so cool I've never seen anything like that before anyway so I really really enjoyed it. Look at all the crowds exiting at Disneyland Park, going towards the exit, leaving it all at once. It's been a long time since I've seen anything like this as well. I've just stepped back because I don't want to go into the crowd. I'm waiting uh, that it gets a little bit quieter, but I'm still emotional. Right. I still can't get over 
today, this evening, just everything about the day, being back here and, and everything that I've experienced and all the new things and restrictions that have been lifted. It's just been an amazing, amazing day. It really has. It's been amazing seeing so many people just having a great time, enjoying themselves, seeing people's faces, seeing so many kids and families. Of course, because it's the weekend, there's been loads of kids around today and just seeing their excitement at the fireworks like really got me and just throughout the day as well and I know that this is a Disney vlog and I wanted to be upbeat but of course we can't ignore what's going on in the world so I just wanted to mention it you know I read some terrible things in the news as you do with the war that's going on it it's really sad of course it is and I think it's such a it's such a contrast like it just hit me like being here seeing all these children having a great time and yet there are children in Ukraine who have already died because of a war that really shouldn't happen it's I don't know I don't really have the right words to say or anything but it's it's really life is unfair and children should not be dead <laughs> children should not be terrified of war they should not be in such terrible conditions that they are in Ukraine at the moment unfortunately I want to see kids happy all over the world Unfortunately, it's not in my power. It is in some ways, you know, I've donated a couple of things back when I was in London, but that's the least I can do. That's the least any of us can do. The world outside of Disney is awful, but being here, I feel very lucky. I'm very emotional and I'm so sorry about this clip. I feel it's just, I'm just very grateful to be here, but I'm also, I wish the world was a bit more just, but I know that that's not, that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Anyway, wow, um, there you go. There's one more shot of the castle looking beautiful. I actually really like these uh, gardens of wonder in the dark as well, because they just light up a little bit and it makes them look even cooler. There's Snow White, that's the first one we saw this morning. And then some of the other ones are scattered throughout the park. But the castle itself, if I keep moving to the left, you'll be able to see the 30th logo on it right in the center oh there you go it's twinkling that just looks so so nice anyway it is time for me to slowly but surely walk down main street usa towards the exit and make my way out of the park but what an amazing atmosphere genuinely like you know seeing so many people still around at this time of evening having just seen a wonderful show on the castle well three if you count all three of them <laughs> I really missed this. And here you go, this is Main Street USA. It's about 8.40 p.m. right now. The park closed at 8, which is obviously also when Illumination started. But uh, yeah, this is it. This is it. Oh wow, look how pretty the gazebo looks now. Again, all lit up. It's kind of like a bluish color now. A blue, kind of, mm, maybe turquoise? Looks really cool. It does look like <laughs> Flores Boutique still has a bit of a queue. <laughs> So, wow, I mean, people love merchandise, don't they? Okay, so it looks like the queue now ends over there for Flora's Boutique, which is considerably shorter than it was or it has been throughout the day, because throughout the day, if you remember, it went all the way down there, through Discovery Arcade, all the way to the end of Discovery Arcade, and even out of it. This isn't too bad, to be honest. I'd say probably like, hmm, 20 minutes now, 25, 30 minutes. I'm still not gonna go in it now, though, because I do have a few more days, so like, rest assured, there will be a vlog coming up with uh, all the merchandise that is in that store and hopefully in the upcoming days they might uh, introduce the new 30th anniversary merchandise into other shops as well. Maybe, we'll have to see. I just feel a bit bad going the queue at this moment in time because I feel like it's going to take a while still to get to the shops and obviously there's cast members working there and the park officially closed like 10-15 minutes ago so I don't really feel like doing that. But instead I'll show you the gazebo which looks very pretty. I mean I love it. I think the gazebo is one of my favourite things about Disneyland Paris just anyway but when they decorate it, when they just jazz it up a bit for different celebrations, it makes me love it even more. Oh, and I've just seen Mickey's there at the exit on the station waving yes goodbye. I didn't think they would do that because character meets are more or less back to as they were pre-COVID. But he's here and he's in his 30th anniversary outfit and he looks so cute. Look at him. He looks so handsome, very dapper. I love the shiny top hat, so cute. And as you can see, the time is, mm, yeah, about quarter to 9 p.m. And there you go, this is Mickey and there's a big crowd surrounding him as well. I love it. This is so magical. I'm glad they've decided to keep it, at least for now. Well, this is basically it. It's the end of the day. Um, like I said, I've had an amazing day. I'm feeling so, so grateful to have been here. Um, before I go though, I do want to show you and have a look myself as well. Oh, it's so huge. 
you forget how big this is. Basically, I want to have a quick look at this one more time in the dark. And oh my god, clearly I'm not the only person who wants to have a look at it. There's literally a crowd formed, not to wave at Mickey, but to just look at this awesome entrance that they've created for the 30th. So we've got the middle central figure, and then the different characters that we saw earlier in the day and now they are all lit up it does definitely look much much cooler in the dark i absolutely love it hello <laughs> hi how are you all right well that is it that is the end of the video um that was the end of the first official day of the 30th anniversary celebrations here at Disneyland Paris. I really hope you enjoyed the day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I showed you basically all there is to do for the 30th and there'll be more vlogs coming up with more detail in the upcoming days. So like I said, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram so you can get more updates as well. And for me and Disneyland Paris, I will see you in the next video. Bye.